we are south of Seaside State Beach, just north of, of San Diego, in the San Diego County area. And one of the coolest things, I think, growing up was this kelp. <laughs> But you see, this is our, our brown algae and it gets ripped off from the kelp beds and um, it washes up along the shore. What normally holds this, you know, out along the coast is something called a hold fast. It's root-like, but it's not a real root. And so these will be attached to a rock, you know, and, and then be floating up towards the surface. What keeps them floating are these little things called air bladders. So these aren't true leaves, they are leaf-like. They look like leaves, right? They're called blades. And then they have a little flotation device attached to it. This is called an air bladder. Some of the air bladders on different kinds of brown algae can be huge. And um, these leaf-like structures, these blades, can be ginormous as well. So yeah, a wonderful um, species that is very important to the coastal ecosystems are these brown, uh, brown algae. So, cool stuff. So here we have a... Uh, a Nendarian has stinging tentacles. There's a little one right here. This one's opening up. You know, right now you can see the mouth down in there. But if I touch the tentacles lightly, you can see that it's closing up. You know, and that's those are the tentacles right there. Uh, and the mouth, of course, in the middle. So it has some shells that are surrounding it. You know, that's uh, participated in the, the culinary process. It looks like so. Very cool. It's a nice scene in me. <laughs> So we were looking for crustaceans, and sure enough, we found some. I was hoping to see some echinoderms as well, but who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll be able to find some echinoderms. We'll kind of go over the edge there, but this is a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, you can have that in just a second. The nice thing is the chilipeds right here, these big pinchers, really can't pinch you. You know, they really don't hurt them. Ah, jeez. Oh, it's okay. They really can't hurt you, but it's a nice little bugger. No, I'm serious. It got me. Look at that. That thing's what? got a hold of my skin. What? It's like puncturing me. <laughs> oh, now listen, little guy. Uh, uh, Easy uh, does it. <laughs> of course, I'm invading his privacy, so I can see why he did that. But that's that's grabbing me, Jimmy. I don't know if you want that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he got me good. So I guess the best way to hold that is right there where your uh, your thumbnail is, and they can't get you, or you can hold it like this. But yeah, that little guy got me good. Along these rocks we have barnacles, those are crustaceans as well, and we have some bivalves, some mussels. We've got a lot of different life forms in here, some of the crabs, a bunch of crabs. We've got some chlorophyta, some algae, or protestans, and a lot of uh, sea anemones as well. So we have a whole bunch of different life. This here is our, remember our brown algae? So this is phaophyta. And if we keep kind of going down, you might be able to see, here's a chitin. Okay, so got quite a few organisms that are really uh, densely populating some of these outcrops that are right along the, the coast. And there's a nice chitin right there as well. It's beautiful. So what we'll try to find is a sea star, see if we see uh, some of those, but as we keep moving down this way, you see that we're starting to get a few more of this uh, the sea anemones, and there's a nice uh, chitin right there. Some barnacles are awesome. All right, all inside here are a ton of sand crabs. We'll reach down and see if we can get some of those to, to show up. And they will be present just kind of along the surf. See if we can get a a shot of, of them. Oh yeah, you can see how you can see all their filaments coming up above. And they will continue to, to feed right here in the surf. There's a nice one. And you can see them just all over, all over through here. You can see them running around in there in that sand. But they're, they're prevalent all up and down the coast of California. I've seen really, really big ones too. This is a smaller population of, of sand crabs. Digging through the sand in the sediment, we found a whole bunch of little tiny sand crabs feeding. 
And I tell you, if you just kind of scoop them up, hit some of the sand, they'll go crawling through your fingers. And they're, they're very hyperactive little buggers. You can see some eggs on the underside of some of them. You'll see some orange. See that orange there? They are crustaceans, and they're in uh, filter feeding in the sand here. Now, let me show you something pretty cool. We'll go ahead and I'm dump these back out into the sand and then watch them scurry. They'll just scurry really quickly down into the sand uh, and pick up, uh, make a living right there on the sand wherever we put them. Check this out. Watch how fast they'll scurry into the sand. And they just burrow right down in there. Make a little home. Let's go see if we can find any chinoderm. I'm still looking, still looking. So interesting to note here, we have some of the mussels. So these are the, the bivalve mollusca, and then we have some crustaceans that are growing on top of them. So it's like having a, an apartment complex and then building another apartment complex on top of that. So you have these critters kind of living on, on top of one another and with each other. And, and both of these are, are filter feeders. Uh, Cecil, right, are not going to be moving around at all. When they reproduce, they'll release their gametes into the water. Sperm and egg will unite and the larva will then swim. When I, when I touch those tentacles, like it's like sticky. It's like really sticky because those nematocysts are penetrating into my skin and my dermal layer and you can see all the shells. That's a nice one. Woohoo! What fascinating organisms. When I was a kid, I used to think those were flowers, little flowers. But uh, no, they're animals. Kingdom animalia, multicellular heterotrophs. That's what they are. Cecil nonetheless, but still. Animalia. So we have a number of different types of barnacles that we've been seeing. We have, you know, this little more elongated types, but we have these volcano-like uh, barnacles. They're pink. We've got them in a number of different places. That's the uh, the second species that we've seen, or subgroup of barnacles, are are more of these cone-shaped volcano-looking barnacles. I really like them. They're a lot of fun. And then. Uh, of course, they're not the dom dominant barnacle here. The dominant one in this species, of which I, I, I know not the, the species name. We'll have to look that up for you, but um, a lot of barnacles. So at this specific location, we were not able to find any chinoderm. That makes sense to a point because there's not a lot of mussels. I mean, there's mussels. And that's what they like to eat. They like to eat, uh, you know, other, other mullets. And so since we don't see a lot of food, these kind of rooms uh, probably don't set up shop here. And there's just a few outcrops of rocks. Uh, and the rest of the area is sandy, you know, sand, sandy beaches. So we'll investigate some other areas, maybe go down to La Jolla and look at some of uh, those outcrops, see if we see some. What I've noticed is a pattern though, the farther north I go, and you know, I personally have seen a lot more um, ginormous uh, kind of birds. See those sea stars. So, thanks for joining us. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some, some cool sea stars a little later. See ya. Mm -hmm.